I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those who don't know me, I'm Tamara, daughter of Sheba Jabez, and I'm so proud to be the first to be the first and the only granddaughter of Dr. John Solomon. I'm sorry. My grandpa, Dr. John Solomon, has always been a pillar of strength, a beacon of light, and a man full of unlimited love. I always respect him for what he means to me. His love for me has no end. He's been the greatest grandfather in the world. Life was amazing with grandpa. I'm sure anyone would fall in love with this handsome man. He was unique, stylish, and a person with fantabulous humor. My grandpa always had a special place for me in his heart. Today, I stand here broken, worried, and heavy laden, seeing my only grandpa no more on earth. I always wanted to be in his journey of happiness, but I don't know why. God put me through his journey of pain. It was Jan 4th of 2019, the day which shook the life of the Solomons. The day where his smile, laughter, peace, and happiness began to fade because my grandpa, Dr. John Solomon, was diagnosed with cancer. When my grandpa knew th this in the first place, he never questioned God, not once. He had a great faith in God because he always believed in his famous quote, expect the unexpected. But his sickness never subsided. Within the span of 11 months, grandpa's health condition had become critical. Even through his unhealthy journey, he had a perfect schedule for his prayer, praise and worship because his only aim in life was to glorify the kingdom of God. I was privileged to be by his side throughout his sickness quit college for a year and as soon as my internship in Dean Foundation was completed. The very next day, the doctors reported that grandpa was diagnosed with cancer. I realized that God put me through this training to treat grandpa's sickness. My grandpa was so generous, so, so generous. And I still remember how I used to scold him. Hey, John Sullivan, stop giving. Remember, you only have 10,000 in your pocket. And then grandpa used to turn around and give me that amazing intoxicating smile and say, it's okay, my sweetheart, no matter how poor you are, give off your best to the master. I was heartbroken and shattered to see my grandpa's journey of love. And now I stand here thanking grandpa for molding me and for for molding me for the person who I am today. He'd be the best grandfather to me and to my brothers and to the rest of the family. I want to thank him for the special love that he gave me, sharing all his ups and downs of his life. And I feel extremely blessed to be the last person to get his blessings and talk to him. The last words he spoke was, I love you, Tam. It kills me every time when I think that I could no longer hold his hands, which I used to. <laughs> the hands that guided me through all the walk of my life. Grandpa, I just want to thank you for trusting me, even when you walk through the valley of death. And I'm so happy that you, that you to be your greatest confidence. Tata, I miss you so much. The love that I had for you is deeper than the ocean. I miss everything about you. The way you call me Tam. The way you wake me up early in the morning and say, Hey Tam, get up. Thank you for your amazing unconditional love. One thing I'm sure about is that you're very happy in heaven with my Uncle Sam. You're a man with tremendous potential and uncommon favor. Above all, I just want to thank God for helping me for giving me the strength to face life's trial. 
and for guiding our family in every way, spiritually, physically, financially, and emotionally. Thank you, Lord, for your favor and for your blessing upon our family. I conclude by saying my grandpa's quote, I'm not an ordinary person. No matter what, grandpa has always encouraged me with this quote. And today I can proudly say I'm not an ordinary person because I belong to the child of the Most High God. And I'm, and I'm not an ordinary person because I'm Dr. John Solomon's granddaughter. And I just want to say this in a style maybe. In spite of the fact that my grandpa Dr. John Solomon is dead, he's still alive in our hearts. And in spite of the fact that my grandpa Dr. John Solomon is dead, we will still praise and thank God for his uncommon favor. And in spite of the fact that my grandpa Dr. John Solomon is no more on earth, we will still glorify our God as a family. Finally, Grandpa, I don't want to say goodbye to you. I just want to say goodnight. Because I, I have a hope that I'll meet you soon on the resurrection day when Jesus comes in the air. I love you tons, Tata. And I miss you so much every single second. May your soul rest in peace. And now I'm going to sing his favorite song that we both used to sing every single day. <laughs> <laughs>